What's up, guys? Ridley GT here with another noob guide. Today, we're taking a look at Johanna. Now, Johanna is arguably the weirdest type of character in Heroes of the Storm right now. She's designed to be sort of the CC monster and an anti CC character all at the same time. I mean, the damage is, is pretty negligible in the midst of it, but she has a ton of control and a ton of anti control. It makes her a very, very unique, very different style of character for Heroes of the Storm. Now, although she's not quite my cup of tea, I have had a ton of fun playing her, and I think that's all that matters. Let's take a look at her abilities. Her first ability is called Punish. It's going to do damage to this little half moon in whatever direction that you choose and it's going to slow enemies for two seconds. Her second ability is called Condemn. After about a second it's going to pull enemies towards you. It also pulls heroes as well as minions. Her third ability is called Shield Glare. Now this is going to do damage in a cone in front of you. It's also going to blind two attacks. This also works on buildings. Super important to know. And now her traits. You become unstoppable and gain a massive shield for four seconds. It means you cannot be slowed, stunned, or anything of the sort. Her first heroic ability is called Falling Sword. You're going to jump up in the air, beam of light, land on people, feel badass. Damage is a bit underwhelming, but with the, uh, the level 20 talent, it's actually pretty good. Not that bad. Second heroic ability, however, called Blessed Shield. Now, Paladins from World of Warcraft, this will look all too familiar for you. You're going to throw your shield. It's going to bounce around a bunch of times and stun whoever it hits, as well as doing a fairly large amount of damage. Now, we did mention that Johanna is an anti-CC character. Unstoppable is the big thing. It makes you immune to slows, stuns, so it counters guys like Diablo extremely hard. She is also outstandingly tanky. She can take a ton of punishment. The extra shields on demand, the anti-stun on demand, make her an absolutely monstrous, monstrous warrior and an absolute ton of fun to play. We are now going to take a look at the talents. So, for your Tier 1 talents, you are going to end up picking up Reinforce. Now, Reinforce, what it's going to do is every time you use an ability, it's going to give you a charge of block. This means that as you cycle through your abilities, you're going to continually generate charges of block. So try to time your abilities a bit. You can have a max of two stacks. It's going to give you a ton of survivability throughout the game. Now for tier four, this is a really tough choice. I mean, amplified healing looks like it's going to be the best option, but realistically, your best choice is going to be laws of hope. Now this is going to give you passive health regen. It's going to give you an on-demand heal for 20% of your health. This also scales throughout the entire game and is hands down just the best talent to pick up at this tier. Now at tier seven, all of your abilities kind of look like they can be good, but really there's only two. One's going to be the crusade marches on, which is better the more you get comfortable with the hero. But to start off for most newer players, even experienced players, battle momentum, being able to auto attack as much as possible reducing all of the abilities that you have it just works really really well with this hero now your heroic abilities and here's here's the thing guys I like Falling Sword. I like the idea of Falling Sword. I think it looks awesome. It feels even more awesome. It can be used as escape and initiation. However, Blessed Shield is just too good. I mean, you get a bit of utility. You feel awesome doing it. You look awesome doing it. Don't you want to look awesome when you play this game? Blessed Shield, hands down. It's amazing. Pick it every time. Tier 13, however. Now, most people are going to pick up Burning Rage. For experienced players, I'd strongly recommend that. But for newer players, you really want Subdue. Now, this extra slow, the extra second, up to 80% for the slow that decays now, is really going to make a huge difference. It is a noticeable, noticeable difference, and it'll be absolutely great to chase down for newer players. But now at Tier 16, Imposing Presence always seems like the best choice. However... Johanna's got a secret. She's got a secret. You ready for it? It's fanaticism. That's right. Iron skin, whenever it's up and you take damage, you get a movement speed buff. Every time you get hit, you get an 8% bonus up to 40%. You pop your unstoppable when you're running away. Boom. You're gone. You can't be caught. Tier 20, the ultimate storm talents right now. As much as you want to augment that alt, it's not as good as indestructible. You literally gain a shield instead of dying for like your whole health pool. Fucking incredible, guys. Pick indestructible. You will not regret it. It is absolutely fantastic. My name is Ridley GT. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, like the video, or leave a comment. Tell me which hero you guys need a video for.